action. Okay. Today we had a monster tail female from the first litter. Or the first, uh, the pearlescent litter. Where we proved out the pearlescent to be genetic. This is a sibling, a non-hypo, a very big, massive monster tail. F1 from the monster tail female. She just had her babies, I'm guessing around 50 of them. And I am, I'm rigged up. I guess I don't need the light on since we turned on the light. I was going to do this in the dark with my headlamp. And I thought, well, let's shoot video of it. Got a dirty shirt on, dirty pants. Now I'm going to get her out of here, hopefully without getting attacked. And if I get attacked, we'll just edit it out so we won't have to watch it later on. We'll put it in slow-mo. Yeah, slow-mo. All right, first thing... She is not going to be very tired because she's huge, powerful, and she squirted all these out in very short order. First, I want to see how reactive she is. She's thinking about striking at me. I like to use the styrofoam stick so they can't see my hand. I'm going to get her behind the head. And she fights me because she doesn't want to come out. She wants to protect those babies. So we'll take her to another cage that I have open. And let her go. Now she's looking around wondering where her babies are. And on the arm baby boa goo because she had to drag herself through the goo she just pooped out a pile of goo now let's go look at the babies these doors are very fancy when you unlatch one door it still won't open you have to unlatch both doors and you've got to be a rocket scientist apparently to figure that out who designed these stupid things anyways Alright, there it's open, and now we can get a good look at these puppies. A better look anyways. Look at all those babies. Oh, there's a slug! Most people take the slugs out of the pictures before they show their stuff. Slugs are part of what you get. It's a lot of bears. Right, this looks like it's going to be a neat one and it's still in the membrane. Let's get a better look. That's a neat one, huh? Yeah. Still in the membrane. Look at that puppy. Come on. Your head is not out. There you go. Wow. Look at that thing. Anyways, it's a pile of babies. Now I'm going to take the babies out for the first time. We are going to get video of me getting the babies out of the cage. I typically, if I'm getting them out while they're still covered in goo, I use these sweater boxes. And if I wait until after they shed, then I use the baby boa bucket. Baby boa bucket. Baby boa bucket. Baby boa bucket. Which I'm sure everyone knows what that is. But now we're going to get some babies out. And I think the first thing I might want to do is get out the craziest looking ones because I'm greedy. So let's see how some of these crazy looking ones look. We'll look at these in a second. I'm going to get them out first. So 
something I do sometimes when I get them out is count them. There's one. Two. Three. Looking for the weird ones. That one's kind of strange. Four. Holy oh, mackerel. Look at these things. What would you call those? <laughs> Look at that thing. Man. I'm, I'm like a little kid at Christmas. I can't wait for it to unwrap itself. I gotta take a look. Hey, 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 hey! Keep running. Baby Boa's on the run. Where do they think they're going to go? <laughs> There's no place to go, kids. You're home. How many was that? Eight? Nine, I believe. Eight or nine. We'll go to the replay. Yeah. We can always count again later. Twenty-nine. We have to count them again yet, but there it is. That's what you call your baby boa goo. Nice, huh? <laughs> Anyways, that's uh, that's it for the show down here. Digest it. So now, now we're gonna move some of these babies into drawers up here. And get a better look at these guys. Look at those things. <laughs> that is mind boggling. Jungles? Nope. Genetically aberrant? Yep. Look at those things. Holy mackerel. They're all. Hypos too. It makes me wish that we had some normals so we could see if if and how this translated into the normals. Anyways. So I'll put like five five in a drawer. I'm gonna move five into this drawer. Set that up here. <laughs> Most of the goo comes off right away because that makes the biggest mess. Two, three, four, five in that drawer. And we'll do five more in this drawer. Put those guys up there. And what I do typically is I leave these guys in overnight. Tomorrow they will have cleaned themselves up completely. Left all their stuff on the uh, newspaper. So I'll swap them out, clean out the drawers, give them fresh newspaper, set them up with, uh, with a water bowl, and just wait for them to shed, like. I'm waiting for these guys to shed. These guys who were born eight days ago. <laughs> They will shed in a couple of days and they will sparkle. These are Hypo Jungle's head annery. Nice, huh? That's all!